Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharuka Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High God, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Yahweh and other names. Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten Son, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Jehovah, and other names. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, you know, pushing this gospel in all sincerity. Shalom also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Sharala from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do this quick lesson. Hopefully, it's going to be edifying through the spirit. Well, um, the title of this lesson is going to be these words, these laws, or these words are going to illuminate your life, are going to illuminate your path. So I just want to read, as you can see anyway, this is a beautiful image I took from the internet. That's the chariot right there. The so-called UFO, but we know through the scriptures and through the spirit that these are the chariots. That are going to save the elect of Israel on the day of destruction, and hopefully we're part of that number. You know that's why we put into work. That's why we we're constantly praying and constantly doing this work. You know, so we might find mercy before the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. That's why we're keeping, you know, to the best of our ability this commandment, because you know what these wicked pastors are going to tell you in churches is. You know, the commandments are done away with, you know, all they're tr actually trying to tell you is, you know, do as thou wilt, which is one of the commandments of the sat Satan churches, you know, just do whatever you feel like doing, you know, commandments are done away with, just believe in your heart that you're saved and you're going to be saved. And this is pure wickedness, wickedness at its purest, you know, so let's get some scriptures. Oh, I'm going to read from the book of um, Baruch. There we go. Chapter 4, which this is one of my favorite. This is one of my favorite books. I have a lot of favorite books in a way. <laughs> oh, this is the book of Baruch, chapter 4. I'll read from verse 1, which quotes This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And the law that endureth forever, all they that keep it shall come to life, but such as live it shall die. Now, there are a few key keywords here, you know, the book of the commandments. What's the book of the commandments? The scriptures, you know. And this is how mess for the most high Yahweh Shem Shai is. And it's going to be heavily justified on the day that is going to be putting, you know, judgment on two thirds of the house of Israel in Babylon and the rest of Israelites that are doing wickedness spread around the four corners of the earth, you know, because we're given this book. This book is, is the most accessible book, you know, you can easily get a Bible anywhere you are, you know, and I believe, you know, even in these countries that are um, Saudi Arabia and other countries, I really don't know. I really don't know the laws that are there, but, you know, I believe my mom lived there for some years, you know, and I believe there you could, you could have a Bible, you know, and well, we are in the era of, um, of internet, you can always download your Bible on your devices and, you know, access to the Bible is everywhere and which these are the laws of the Most High, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, and it says, these laws the law that endureth forever. It doesn't say the law. The law is necessary only during the time of the Old Testament. It doesn't say it's 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 done away with or whatever. It says the law endureth forever. These laws endure forever. Okay, unlike what the churches they tell you or what they try to make you believe. It says, and all they that keep it shall come to life. So if you keep these words you're definitely coming come to life, you know? 
because it's a way of life man we are separate people we are diverse people from the rest you know the most high yahweh basham yahweh shai has chosen us he has given us these laws you know on which you know i can get a few precepts on that i'll just pick um now this is the book of psalm 147 i'll read from verse 19 because these laws are given to us you know particular people the israelites and we know through the spirit and through the scriptures that the the, the israelites are the so-called negroes native americans and the latinos now you have israelites spread around the four corners of the earth in different countries looking like you know the places that they're spread into you know so this is the book of psalm 147 verse 19 it says he showed his word unto jacob his statues and his judgments unto israel he had not dealt so with any nation and for as for this judgment they have not known them Praise ye the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. So this, these laws and commandments were given exclusively to Israel. He has not dealt so with any other people, you know. He hasn't dealt so with any other people. And let me get one more in the New Testament. Here's first Peter 2 9. This is the book of 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. It says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should shew forth the praise of him who had called you out of darkness into this marvelous light. So we are a chosen people. We are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, because Israel in, 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 native, um, in um, Paleo-Hebrew, is Yashar Allah and Yashar Allah means the princes of the power we are princes of the power you know so these laws are given to us we're made to walk according to these laws and you know things will go well for us in which we're going to get more scriptures on that you know and they say but such as live it shall die now what is sin okay you can get that in the book of um is it John 3 4 um Sin, transgression, can this is the book of First John three four. It says, "Whomsoever committed sin transgresseth transgresseth all the law, for sin is the transgression of the law." So we are giving these laws; they are a way of life. There are a way in which we, sh we should move and act and make judgments on earth, you know. We have their, their um, um, diet, diet laws. We have um, um, laws con concerning how to run a, a nation, how to live as a people. We have all different kinds of laws, man, you know. And these laws are actually a way of life. So he says, those but such as live it shall die. Remember, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai is eternal life. So, what sin? As we just read, sin is the transgression of the law. So, those who leave this, abandon these laws, and you know, start following the ways of the rest of the people, because that's what literally Christianity is. You know, Christianity is an abomination, man. Just like the rest of of other um, religions, you know. First, the worship of false image, the worship of false deity, you know, calling him the name that it's not his name, you know. Then they, they do all things that are contrary to the to the commandments, you know. They eat all kinds of uh, unclean foods, you know. They, they do all kinds of unclean things and, and they, they, they're adulterers and adulteresses, you know. They're covering themselves with some sort of cloak of holiness in which they are not holy. You know, they are filled with bones of humans, man. So death is reserved unto those who are not going to, you know, come out from this wickedness and embrace this truth. These laws that are given to us, you know, though we are not, we are not going to be saved through the laws, but this is the way of 
living. This is the way of life. We are not going to be saved through the laws because, you know, certain things in this kingdom that we are under captivity, we can't, we can't 100% follow certain laws, you know. But you're going to keep these laws to the best of your abilities. That's what the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai requests. Now, going back, it says, This is the book of the commandments of, the, of God, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as live it shall die. Now, let's get some scriptures. This is the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8, which quotes, this book of law shall not depart out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have a good success. So you see, this, this book of the laws, you know, which is the scriptures, this Bible, they shouldn't depart from our mouth, you know. They shouldn't depart from us, you know. If you want to have a good success, and what's the real success? The success is, you know, being saved from what's about to come, you know. That's success, man. Success is being beamed up in those chariots, just like you see right here. That's what success is, man. This is success, you know. Because, you know, there are lots of things about to happen in which, you know, majority of jake is still asleep man they're not opening their eyes you know a lot of things is about to go down esau is about to come door to door you know and make sure you take you get vanessa man esau is about to push this thing heavily you know i watched the video that um the elder apostle taha posted on on his channel on odyssey you know a girl telling a dream that she had you know that Esau, you know, he started going from house to house, you know, getting people with the military, you know, forcing them to, 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 to have this relationship with Vanessa, you know. And all this is going to come even worse. Remember what the book of Daniel 12, 1 says, you know, a time like never before, you know. And this is what they, they are also, you know, whispering around these dead politicians these devils in Italy, you know, this is what they're whispering around, you know, getting the military to go from house to house to get people, you know, people are really going to start bugging out, you know, because this Vanessa juice is such a poison, remember the Hydra or whatever, you know, people are definitely going to start turning to things that they don't know because they're actually, you know, putting into things into your system and rewriting your code, man. So let's just leave that there. So the book of Isaiah is it 33, 8. You know, it tells you that um, these words are going to be the stability of thy time, man. So those who are not keeping these words, you know, listening to their, to their wicked pastors, you know, they're all going to be destroyed. Let's get another scripture. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 17 verse 19 it says and it shall be with him and it shall read therein now let's read from 18 this is the book of deuteronomy 17 18 it says and it shall be when he seated upon the throne of his kingdom that he shall write him a copy of this law in a book out of that which is before the priest of the levites and it shall be with him, and he shall read therein all the days of his life, that he may learn to fear the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai's power, and to keep all the words of this law and these statutes to do them. So you get what, what what this is saying. This is actually talking of you know when you're choosing uh someone to rule over the house of Israel, in which this is actually referring to everybody, you know. I should keep and you should learn these words and keep these the laws and statutes to do them, you know, all the days of our life, man. It's never going to be done away with because it's a way of life. It's the purest way to live. Let's get a few more scriptures. 
Oh, it's Deuteronomy 29.9. Deuteronomy 29.9 says, Keep therefore the words of this covenant and do them that ye may prosper in all that ye do. You know? I'm just, you know, reading this to, to show you that it's it's everywhere, man. That you should prosper in, in all that you do, man. Because there are certain laws, you know, and we're finding out the reason why the Most High has made man many laws, like the laws of, um, you know, of, of, of the robes that we wear, man, the energies and frequencies that they carry. You know, there is a reason for each laws. Now, people are eating, you know, all, the, all, the, all these um, fishes that are meant to clean the ocean. Now, the oceans are dirty and people are catching all different kinds of illnesses, you know. If you if you if you if you if you leave if you go away from this commandment, you're just going towards death, man. Because this commandment is life. This is what's going to uphold you, man. This is go. This is what's going to what's going to guide you. This is the book of Psalm. I just read from Psalm one, verse one. I read from one. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 1. I'll read from verse 1. It says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, or standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Now, remember what we read, that sin is the transgression of the laws. Now, blessed is the man that doesn't walk in the way of those who transgress the law. Blessed are those who don't walk in the, in the ways of Esau and his followers, you know. And his religion. Esau now is pushing certain things on you, trying to force you, telling you you're going to lose your job if you don't take this Vanessa or whatever, you know. Trying to, you know, heavily push this thing on you. But those who have the fear of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, they don't walk in that way, man. We don't walk like that. We have certain laws that we should follow, and it's written that we shouldn't make any cuttings into our flesh. Man, a lot is about to happen. Then, then you still have certain Jakes, you know, who are actually, you know, trying to make some money now, trying to, you know, become the best rapper in in December twenty twenty one. Man, <laughs> this is crazy, man. So he says, "Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, or standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful." Can and this is what they do. They scorn at you, man. Oh, you're just bogged out, you're, you're, you're negative, you're this, you're conspiracy theorist, you're that, you're this, you're blah, you know, because you're not walking according to what they, they, they believe in. But remember, we have certain words. This is the book. This is, this is our map, man. This is what we should follow, not what man says, you know. Esau doesn't have the say over your life. Esau doesn't have the solution to your life. Just open your eyes and go check out history. Esau has always, you see, history re repeats itself. And this is how great, this is how, you know, merciful the most high Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai is, you know. It makes history to repeat itself so you don't have any excuse. You can just, you know, go back and search certain things and see the record of this man. This man, Esau Edom, is the devil of this earth, is the cancer of this earth. The so-called white man in power. These are the cancers of this earth. As long as they are around, you know, wickedness is going to, you know, flourish. As long as they are in power, you know. Just go back and check their, their, their records, check their, their history. They have never done anything good for this earth, you know. And these are the people you want to follow. Choose today, man. Excuse me. I had a phone call that just, you know, interrupted the lesson. Anyway, I was I was saying just like um Joshua Joshua said, I believe in, in the seventh chapter of the book of Joshua, I can't remember. He says, you know, choose ye this day who you want to follow. Just roughly paraphrasing, say as for me and my family, we are going to follow the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. If you want to follow the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, he's not coming directly to speak with you. He can speak with you through visions and dreams, you know, 
But if you want to get to know him, this is the book, man. This is the book. In the scriptures, all his words are there, you know. He knows the beginning from, he knows the end from the beginning. This is, this is his movie, you know. He has already prepared everything and he has given us the script that this is what's going to happen. So you have no excuse, man. Verse 2, he says, But his delight is in the law of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. <laughs> He's not telling you to meditate the law for a certain season. He says you meditate the law day and night, you know. Your delight is in the law. Your delight is in the scriptures, man. This is what the true men of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai are. This is what they, they, they actually look like, you know. These laws are in their hearts. They meditate these laws every day and night. They do things according to this book, man. They're not going after what men are saying or these wicked um, prof professors that they put on TV and interview and tell them, ah, what do you think about this, this demic or whatever, you know, and they, they come, yeah, we think we need to do this and that. All those men are all bots, man. Verse 3 says, And it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth its fruit in its season, its leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever it doth, and whatsoever it doth shall prosper. So if you walk in these laws, in these words, you know, whatsoever you do, you're going to prosper. This is life. These words are life, you know. Now, let's get the last precepts. You know, I would have wanted to, you know, go more into the scriptures and you know do more of this chapter but you know i'll probably be taking them little by little it's going to be like a series series more or less if the spirit is on me this is matthew 7 21 the book of matthew chapter 7 verse 21 says not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. So not everyone that, that, that calls on the, on the name, ah, Yahawashai, Yahawashai, like there are lots of, you know, wicked Hebrew Israelite groups out there. You know, they are, they're actually pushing for the bidding of the devil. They are pushing for what Esau wants, you know. And the Most High is going to destroy them. And all those who are getting all these prompts to leave, hey, this is the time you should leave, man. Blessed is the, are the men that, that, that don't walk in the counsel of the wicked, of sinners, the ungodly, you know? So he says, But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven, what's the will of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai? His will are his commandments and his laws if you love me you keep my commandments you know that those are the will of the most high yahweh shem yahushai not what your pastors tell you you know just believe and this and that man any jake just like the other apostle Taha says any jake that's still in this christian churches in 2021 i really don't know what to say man no words so, well, I just wanted to share the scriptures, you know, these laws are never done away with. These laws are a way of life, you know. In the kingdom, when we get into the kingdom, these laws are going to be written in our inward parts, you know. So, if it was going to be done away with, what, what's the need in which the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai would then need to write these laws in our inward parts? It makes no sense. So, hopefully, this lesson was a defined. I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh Bahasham. Yahweh Shai, Waharu Kakwadash, my double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth. You know, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.